Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to convert a tiny, messy garage into a beautiful cinematic documentary interview shot. I will cover all the lights and settings I use in order to achieve this look. So make sure you watch the whole video and that you are subscribed to Nanlai's channel. Let's start. First things first, I want to have maximum depth in my shot. Usually I would use a portrait lens with fast aperture to get more separation between the foreground and the background. But if you're filming in a tiny place like this, sometimes a fast lens won't give you all the answers to your problems. So in this case, to get a deeper shot I try to film it into the corner of the garage this is really important to film into the corner actually I'm doing it kind of right now so when the camera angle lens and actors position are set we can start working on the lighting and that's my favorite part about filming the interviews and documentaries setting up the lighting with all ambient lights turned off I start with the key light and here I use Forza 300B, it's a bicolor light that means I can go from cold to warm temperature in order to control a certain feeling to my video. So I can simulate sunlight if necessary, or as in our case, I can have more neutral temperature to get better looking skin tones. In this case, I use Forza 300B in pair with 90 centimeter softbox. It allows me to have a softer highlights roll off and smoother, more pleasing look. Then on this side of the face, I use wide construction styrofoam panels to bounce the light onto the shadow part of the face. Of course I could have left more shadow here, but I did not want to have too dramatic image. Then the next light I use is Little Light 5C. It's a small RGB light that I use in almost every project. Because of its portable size, it practically takes zero space in my camera bag, so I take it with me almost everywhere. I set it only to 9% output and the temperature is 27 Kelvin. The only thing you need to keep in mind if you are planning on taking longer takes, just plug this light into a power bank bank or turn it off between the takes so you will not run out of battery. So this is really important but in my case the whole thing took me around one and a half two hours to shoot so the battery lasted long enough for me. Okay, now it's time for our next slide. It's Forza 60B paired with the projector mount. You see, because it's a bicolor as well, I can tune in temperature to match little light, Forza 300B, and other lights as well. And now we have better separation between the foreground and the background. And this is very important so I can achieve more consistent organic look. Here, Forza 60B serves two purposes. First purpose, it helps me to separate our speaker from the background even more so we add even a little bit more depth to our tiny garage. And second purpose it serves, you see the tools behind him? Yeah, now you can see them and they help us to tell the story about our main character even better. Okay, I hope you guys did not get lost yet, you're still here. If so, thank you, let me know, leave a thumbs up. And let's go on with our next light, which is one of my favorite lights. Mix panel 150. You see, even though now we added warm light here, warm temperatures there, the lighting looks very random. We need something to blend the whole image together better because right now it just looks a little bit out of place. And for this exactly, I'm gonna use one of my favorite lights, Mix panel 150. The amazing feature of this light is that you can switch from hard to soft light. And uh, in this particular shot, I'm using hard light so I get more shadows in the background, which allow me to add even more texture to the image, therefore making my image more interesting. Now the image looks more organic and the exposure levels are more even compared to what it was before. And this is one of the most important tricks here that I need to convince the viewer that the lighting I'm using, it was just all there. It's always there in his workshop. We're not using any artificial light sources. You know, his tiny messy garage, his workshop, always looks that cinematic. We did not use any artificial light sources. This is really important and mix panel 150 because of its small footprint, I can just fit it in the back and it will not get in the frame and it just helps me to blend everything together better. Now it's time for the most important light in our scene, Pavatube 6C Mark II. You might be wondering, why is it the most important light, Steven? Well, let me tell you something. Well, you see, all lighting has to be motivated. You can't just lit the background with any lights you want. Well, obviously you can, but in our case, if we want to achieve organic cinematic lighting, then we need to justify these warm lights in the background. And where do they come from? Yeah, exactly, from our Pavatube. 
because even though it seems not important but i can assure you if we place this light right here subconsciously now the viewer feels that all these warm lights in the background are coming from this power tube and the whole image now feels more complete it feels more cinematic just like a professional documentary interview shot has to feel like and this is it thank you so much for watching if you have any questions about the lighting or this video just drop them down in the comment section and i'll see you next time bye bye